Welcome to Black Angus Reviews. Let's get right into it. RK Outpost, aka Ryan Kennel, inadvertently started some outrage among the Phantom Menace for calling out Doomcock for his rumors and sources. Many jumped to the conclusion that he called fans of his retards, clearly taking his comments out of context. What Ryan was saying is that he gets bombarded by rumored discussion regarding Kathleen Kennedy supposedly being removed in some way from Lucasfilm, and now George Lucas taking over Star Wars, the franchise he sold for $4 billion almost a decade ago, all of which links back to Doomcock. Ryan simply said that after two years of quote-unquote rumors never coming true, he's not reliable, and you're retarded for believing him at this point. I completely agree. Honestly, that was so refreshing to hear from a bigger channel because these made-up rumors get propagated as substantive and build legitimacy among eager fans. I see a lot of people say, who cares, he's entertaining, but no one seems to realize or want to point out that this repeated unreliability makes our whole sphere look idiotic. Mike Zero has made many videos since The Force Awakens release that are made up and now has no credibility whatsoever. The other point that everyone I've watched seems to not notice is to wonder how many followers and, by default, money has he gained thanks to repeatedly making false claims. Doomcock himself saying that these are rumors doesn't absolve him when that's been a big draw to his channel. One rumor he spun was that Brie Larson was to be replaced by one of many possible Mandalorian actresses as Captain Marvel only a day or two later to have Marvel directly announce the Brie Larson sequel, Captain Marvel 2. Doomcock was even exposed to be scooping rumors for Star Trek from 4chan that was a complete fake, showing he'll grab anything to lure you to his channel. People will deflect because he entertains them, but this proven repeated content is predatory of viewers understandably invested in the franchises he covers, and in my eyes, completely dishonest. Ultimately, this is disappointing to me because Doomcock has a great wealth of talent. With the mock Doctor Doom persona and his in-depth criticism of Game of Thrones and Star Wars and so on, he doesn't need to be another Mike Zero. That's why this is frustrating. A lot of people think The Phantom Menace is dying or already dead. I personally think it's a mix of growing pains and a lack of focus at this point, but I still believe in what united us in this fight for our modern mythos. And shenanigans like this and infighting only strengthen our enemies. So, those are my thoughts on the matter. Let me know in the comments what you think about all this, and I will talk to you all in the next video.